Well, folks, we're coming off of yet another very disappointing Monday Night Raw, but thankfully, thank the stars, the heavens above, that we have NXT to look forward to. And what do we got on this show? Looks like we're going to have a new number one contender crown, lots more, maybe even a new opponent for Bailey. Couldn't be more excited. We're going to cover all of that and more right here, right now on Dead on Day Productions. Let's go. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Dead on Dave and man I am pumped up. I'm juiced up. I'm jived. I got some sleep. Holy crap. I got some sleep. I got my wife beside me who's going to probably make all kinds of snarky remarks at NXT or not say anything. I don't know. You never know with her. She says nothing. She's just putting her fist at me like she wants to either punch me in the face or stick it up my ass. I don't know which one, but that's okay. Because we got all kinds of good stuff going on. I'm very excited. Man, the Cubs are in the damn National League Championship Series. Uh, Freaking the wrestling week is going on. NXT about to watch all this great stuff. I couldn't be more excited. New graphics. Yes, another new graphic. The NXT graphic made by the new copious graphics guru, Sal. He'll cut you. Uh, who cut you graphics? That's what'll cut you. Uh, if you need graphics, man, just let me know. I'll talk to him. I have a connection. I have a connection. Maybe we can work something out. You can get yourself some badass graphics. I tried to say good badass graphics at the same time, so like badass graphics. I almost made my wife spit coffee. That would have been funny. <laughs> right onto her tablet. That would have been three broken tablets for my wife. The first two, no, I don't know if it survived co coffee, it didn't survive your ass. Either of the first two it did not survive your ass. I didn't sit on it. You didn't sit on the first two? No, oh. I dropped them. Klutzy Melanie. Anyway, we got NXT, man. And as you guys know, I've yet to watch NXT. No, 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 I'm going to watch it right this second. Didn't do it live last night. That was the plan. But I laid down to take a nap and that was all she friggin' wrote, folks. <laughs> I needed to sleep. Getting up at 2 o'clock in the morning three, four times a week to do these reviews. Sometimes it's not going to be able to happen, but you know what we do here when I don't do the review live. No, no, no. I go and I push forward and I do segment by segment, match by match breakdown, and that's exactly what we're going to do now. So let's get into it, shall we? Let's do this thing. This is going to be fun. I said thing, not thing. Whoop, whoop. I'm coming over my awkwardness. I'm very happy. All right, let's, let's get into it, guys. NXT for... October 14th, 2015. Nine minutes, 35 seconds in. We got our first big thing of the night. Bailey starts to show. She's doing all these hearts and flowers and blah, blah, blah. By the way, did anyone catch Izzy with her own shirt on? Izzy Mania? God, those parents of hers. Brilliant, brilliant. But you know what? They might want to be careful. Pissing off the McMahons, pissing off the WWE is not a good idea. Because I highly doubt that was a WWE shirt. It could have been. Could have been. But it looks like they got their shirt from Spreadshirt.com, the same place where you can find my shirts. Copious shit, man. It's all right there on www.deadondave.spreadshirt.com. Go check it out. Anyway, uh, for, my wife is not amused. First segment, it was pretty good. I thought, you know, Bailey did her thing. She was, uh, hey, I'm so happy. And that's great. You know, women's wrestling. And that's great. That's great, all that. And then Alexa comes out. A woman who makes me want to go on multi-state crime sprees. She really does. There's just something about her that when she talks and does things, it just makes me want to just follow her around and be like, oh, you want to, I'm going to shoot this guy? I, I'll do it. If you let me sniff your panties, I'll do it. Because I'm a sick guy, and that's okay. She's so sexy. <laughs> She's ridiculously sexy. She's smolderingly sexy. And She's evil. And I like that. And I don't know why, because I'm a good guy. I'm not a bad boy. I don't. I know I have blonde hair now, and it kind of looks like I probably could ride a motorcycle and be in a band and flick cigarette buds at children. But I don't do any of those things because I'm a relatively nice guy. I play video games. I like D&D. Shut up. And uh, other things. <laughs> and, and other things of that nature. But yet, when I see Alexa Bliss come onto the screen, it makes me want to beat up homeless people. And I don't have a problem with saying that. She has that. If she focused on something, it's going to happen. 
And it's just how it is. And now it seems she is focusing on Bailey. I love the unit of Alexa, Blake, and Murphy. I'm sorry I paused there for that long and kind of creepily moved over, but I blanked. Uh, Blake and Murphy and Alexa, they really are just an amazing unit that just complements each other. They're ready for the big time. They're ready for WWE because aside from New Day, they're the best faction they got. I mean, they're a good faction. Bailey getting the championship ripped from her and Blake and Murphy just, boom, just walling her off so she can't get her title back. I loved it. I thought the whole thing worked. Now, I wish Alexa had a little bit more to say. Uh, that was, you know, But that's just nitpicky. I thought the segment was good. And obviously, Alexa will be the next competitor to uh, Miss Bailey. And that should be great because uh, Asuka needs a little bit more time to beat up everybody else before she gets a shot. And besides, wouldn't we all rather see Asuka beat up a face or a heel? I don't know. Asuka could be either. That's the great thing about her. So we'll see what happens. But people seem to really like Asuka. We'll, we'll see what happens there. Good first segment. I was entertained. Good way to kick off NXT. With everything that's going on in this episode, with the new number one contender going to be crowned later on, this is just exciting. I'm, I can't wait. So let's get back into it. NXT. Boom. Here we go. 23 minutes in, and we've gotten all kinds of cool little promos backstage about who's going to win the number one contender battle royal. And then we get a match between the Vaude villains and... And Fulton and Dawkins, man. Fuller and Dawkins? Fulton and Dawkins? Sorry, Fuller. I don't know. Sawyer, Fulton? I don't know. Fulton and Dawkins, who have a new look this week. Usually they're in the singlets, but now they have a more defined look. It looks like they're being allowed to kind of do their own thing a little bit. And they look great, man. They, well, they look ridiculous, but, I mean, they look like a team, and it's really fun to watch um, them starting to evolve and maybe becoming a bigger tag team in the division, which is great because there's so many tag teams in this division already, and some are probably getting ready to move to the next level. So this is a good thing. Uh, always creating new tag teams. That's awesome. Uh, fairly good match. I mean, a little short, but it, what this is kind of what you're expecting. I mean, Dawkins and Fuller, they're, they're not – up at that level yet so the champs are supposed to run through them and they basically do uh comment of the entire match was uh <laughs> Corey graves who i love i just wish they would put on the actual uh real shows raw and smackdown i think it would help quite a bit when he said uh he said the vaude villains talk about being manly but uh <laughs> Doc and angela dawkins is wearing two headbands that's manly. And then he got one of the headbands knocked off. He goes, well, he still has one. There's hope left. And then he got hit with the whirling dervish and he lost some boom. So that was, uh, <laughs> it was fun. It was a good little match. Vaude villains are becoming quite the champions. And it looks like right after my personal favorite tag team right now in the division, the mechanics, they're fucking Dash and Wilder, man. I love these guys. Dash and Dawson. They're incredible. Incredible. I like them quite a bit. Uh, because they just remind me of the Brain Busters, the, the Minnesota Wrecking Crew, which I made that comparison with them long before they said it on the damn show. But that's okay. I digress. I don't hold grudges NXT. You're lucky I'm a... What's, what's the bad one? Malevolent or benevolent? I think it's benevolent. So I'll go with benevolent. Malevolent is bad. That's right. So I'm benevolent. That's right. I'm a nice guy. I'm a, I'm, I'm a benevolent. Oh, I am just a big goof. <laughs> I'm just a big, dumb goof. My wife is just like, what the hell are you doing? Just, just do the review. No, no, have fun. But no, um, let's get back to the review here uh, and see what's next. Because I think we're getting a Nia Jax debut. So that should be fun. So, as for that match, though, uh, it was good. The VOD villains got, did their job. Give them seven. 7 out of 10 for the match. 6 out of 10. There was No, 7 out of 10. Ah, I'm all over the place. All right, let's get back to it. Oh, yeah. oh wait, I got to hit the actual stop button. <sighs> I wish I can cut that segment. <laughs> I really do. But oh, well, let's get back to it, NXT. Let's see what's next. 24 and a half minutes in, and we got a really cool thing out of uh, Dash and Dawson. They had their little promo in the back, their interview with Devin Taylor, who I believe that is her final Maybe not final interview. I believe it is her final um, night with the final NXT tapings. She, she's gone. She was released. So will be no more Devin Taylor getting picked on by everybody. But Dash and Dawson, they um, had a really good interview in the back. They, they made their, their very strong case to be the number one contenders. They had some good lines, and that's really cool. So 
that's important to see when you want a team to be successful because they can't just be great in the ring anymore. No, you have to have the full package, and they seem to be rounding into form because I like these guys a lot. I like them even more now that I know that they can cut a promo. So that was really good. That's the first time that I've really gotten to hear a, a long, lengthy interview promo type thing, and they did a good job with it. So is it perfect? No, but it was pretty damn good. So let's see, but I think next we are getting Nia Jax and her debut, or at least a promo. Let's find out what happens. 27 minutes in, we're about to get a match, and there's a new diva, a uh, well, new women's wrestler, but she's not actually. What the WWE is doing right now with NXT is they're bringing in a lot of independent women's wrestlers from around the globe, from like Shimmer and all these other different corporations and companies and, and, and places. By the way, if you ever want to see Paige's mom wrestle, she's at Shimmer right now. Right now. Oh, man, my voice went out. She's a shimmer right now doing her thing. So there you go. But there's a lot of girls. And this new one, Evie, looks like she's going to be getting into some action here and being used to enhance some of the current females on the roster and possibly even getting on the roster themselves one day. Uh, I like Evie. She looks good. She wears underwear. These look like straight up like underwear. And uh, they look great on her. She's really good looking. And she has the name of one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Eevee. How can you not like Eevee? That was a great Pokemon. It can be whatever you wanted it to be. You just stick a freaking uh, one of those evolution rocks up its ass and it became whatever damn Pokemon you wanted it to be. That was fantastic. Fire, grass, electric. I love that shit. Water. No, not grass. And it didn't become a grass Pokemon. But water, fire, electric, man. It was awesome. Eevee. Great Pokemon. Better wrestler. Let's see what she does because I believe she's about to have a very bad day. If I had to take a guess, because I think the Rock's cousin's about to come and stomp her out. Let's find out. 31-34, and yes, Evie got her match with Nia Jax. And I don't think anybody, if you have not seen Nia Jax, I don't think you were expecting what you saw. This is the reason why they have not gone back and gotten Awesome Kong. This is why Karma does not need to be there, because they have their own. Nia Jax is younger. She's as big, maybe not, maybe even bigger. And she's got attitude. She's got a pedigree. They made their own. They have their own. It's plain and simple. I think they made a wardrobe, a wardrobe choice mistake, though. I don't like what she's wearing. Uh, I think it accentuates things a little too much. She's a big girl. She's a big girl. Uh, she is a very impressive in the ring. They gave her a modified rock bottom as her finisher as well. I like that. I like that quite a bit. They give her a hook into it, and then she brings it up and down. Like It's pretty cool. It's a good finisher. She's an absolute monster. She needs a little bit of polishing. This was her first match on, you know, on television, you know, whatever. So a little bit of polishing, a little bit of nerves. She's going to be a force to be reckoned with, and she is a clear indication that women's wrestling within the WWE is changing. It's changing drastically. There's no more cookie cutter divas, and that's a good thing. It's not everybody's just a platinum blonde, you know, next, 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 next. No, now there are different shapes and sizes, quite literally now at Nia Jax, and I think that's very important if you want this division to be taken seriously. And I think it is. So let's get back to it and see what's next on NXT. Is I got a phone call. Jesus. 32 minutes in, possibly for the second time, because I got to be honest, I don't remember if I already talked about Nia Jax or not. Uh, I just had a lengthy conversation on the phone, so I, I, I don't remember where I was. <laughs> got to be honest here. Uh, Nia Jax beat up uh, friggin' Evie, who I really did like. I did think I did talk about that, but Evie was dressed as a uh, flash dance cast off it looked like and i i really enjoyed that look but nia Jax, huge gets the big victory i did talk about nia Jax. okay so let's move on here and get to the next part of nxt here we go let's see what's next so there you have it there it is that's the end of the show man we got the battle royal that took up about half the episode which i have no problem with it was a great battle royal everybody was in it there's a lot of great stars in there uh some people you wouldn't expect, some people you obviously expect. And the final four ended up being Tyler Breeze, Baron Corbin, Samoa Joe, and Apollo Crews. But the interesting thing about this was the fans who seemed to, I don't know, it depends on who shows up this week. They were really happy that Samoa Joe got eliminated. They seemed very upset at the fact that Tyler Breeze got eliminated, which I understand because Tyler Breeze being as talented as he is, uh, and for doing as much as he's done over the course of time that he's done it, 
you know, getting frustrated, the fact that he still can't win a goddamn thing makes a lot of sense. But having him eliminate Samoa Joe after he got eliminated was very smart. Very smart because Samoa Joe doesn't need to be the NXT champion. Just doesn't need to happen. He never has to hold that title. There's no reason for him to do it. Should he probably be a num number one contender at some point? Sure. But this is perfect. Now we got Samoa Joe and Prince Pretty, Tyler Breeze, uh, in a feud. They just kicked off their feud with Tyler Breeze doing that. And who isn't excited for that? They're going to have great matches. And this could be the final test for Tyler Breeze. This could be it. This could be the guy. This could be the one big rivalry that he needed before he finally moves up to the big leagues. We'll see what happens. That should be great. Uh, Baron Corbin earned a lot of my respect tonight. I think he did a really good job in that match. Uh, he, he's getting better. He's getting better, plain and simple. The guy's an athlete. He's very athletic, and that does seem to win out. He did a good job with Apollo Crews. Apollo Crews is an amazing athlete himself, uh, one of the best athletes in, in wrestling, I would say, and he did a great job. Great match. Crowd was really into it. They wanted Apollo to win. They get their wish. Apollo Crews, Crews your new number one contender to the NXT Championship, him and Finn Balor. I'm hoping that's a rivalry instead of a match. Because a series of matches between those two, I would like a best of seven between these guys. That's what I want to see. I want to see a best of seven for the, or best of five, best of five for the title. How cool would that be? Like you have a best of five over the course of like five weeks and have it culminated at the last NXT TakeOver or some shit like that. Or the next NXT TakeOver, something like the NXT TakeOver London. Uh, that could be the fifth match. But you have them each win twice. No shenanigans, no 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 nefarious means, just four great matches uh, that they kind of trade victories, and then Apollo Crews wins that final one. Hell, even have Apollo Crews win the first two, or Finn Balor win the first two, and then have Apollo win the next. Or if you want to have more balance, go 1-1-1-1. That works as well. So that could be fun. Tell me what you guys think of this episode of NXT. I enjoyed it. I thought it was a lot of fun, but I want to hear from you guys. So hit me up on Twitter at DeadOnDaveV or write in the comment section below. Also, we got a brand new website, deadondave.net. Go sign up. It's free, and new exclusive content is coming to that channel. going to be a lot of fun. Uh, so there you go. And we're going to be live tonight for SmackDown, Smack Digging It Down review right after SmackDown. So make sure you're there. 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, I believe. We'll be live taking your calls, 702 or on Skype, David Vancura, D-A-V-I-D-V-A-N-C-U-R-A. -V -V so go ahead and call in on that. Thank you guys very much for joining us right here on Dead on Dave Productions. As always, like, subscribe, and share. And if you don't have talent... Have talented friends. That's right. Or a loud wife who can yell a catchphrase from across the room. We'll see you next time. Keep it fucking copious, bitches. Peace.